Let's talk about water in Albuquerque, a very precious resource here in the Southwest. Let's talk about where we get our water from, the history of those sources, and let's talk about what the economic and scientific models predict for the future of water. Albuquerque's drinking water comes from two main sources. We have an aquifer beneath the city, and we have the San Juan Chama Surface Water Project, which is water imported from the Colorado River Basin into the Rio Grande Basin from the headwaters of the San Juan River in southern Colorado. To explain the San Juan Chama Surface Water Project, we have to explain the history of the aquifer in Albuquerque. Essentially, until the 1990s, we believed that the aquifer was replenished naturally by the Rio Grande River. Well, studies done at that time showed that that wasn't the case and that the aquifer levels were depleting at a rapid rate. So the city of Albuquerque enacted a four pillar plan, conservation, reuse, aquifer storage and recovery, and then the San Juan Chama drinking water project. In one second, we'll talk about the results of these changes made in the 1990s, but let's talk about these four pillars. Number one, the city of Albuquerque Water Utility Authority went on a educational route. They wanted to inform the city of what they could do to really conserve water. They also implemented an incentive or rebate program for consumers to switch to zero scape plants and uh, landscaping and also more energy efficient appliances in their home. Now let's talk about the San Juan Chama drinking water project, which in 2008 allowed Albuquerque to drink treated surface water for the first time. Prior to the project's inception, Albuquerque relied solely on underground aquifer for its drinking water needs. Since 2008, the project has delivered more than 100 billion gallons of surface water for the community's use. This water is purchased in perpetuity from the federal government and imported from southern Colorado under terms laid out in the 1960s. This was followed by construction of some $450 million in infrastructure, including a state-of-the-art treatment plant and about 38 miles of underground pipeline. Now, since 2008, when the infrastructure was completed for the San Juan Chama drinking water project, our aquifer levels have increased by about 13 feet. The city of Albuquerque predicts that this is going to continue increasing for the next decade or so. As a result of these incentives and rebates, Albuquerque Water Utility Authority customers have reduced daily per capita usage dramatically from 252 gallons per capita per day in the mid 90s to 127 gallons per capita per day in 2015. Overall use is down as well, in spite of population growth, by about 30,000 acre feet per year, which is roughly 9.8 billion gallons. We also need to talk about our monsoon season, which is typically where we get the most rainfall. Last year in 2022, we saw an increase in the amount of rainfall that we get during the monsoon season. Now that we understand where we're at right now and the history of water in Albuquerque, let's talk about what we're going to see in the future. Let's talk about these economic and scientific models. So as you can see from the tables in front, this data is talking about what will happen if we continue to use the water in the way that we are now with the same infrastructure. Essentially, it's saying at medium use, which is highlighted here, we are going to need new supply of water in 2088. If population increases dramatically and we use high use, which you can see right next to it, by 2062, we will need more supply of water. Now, just below, it shows the years 2100 to 2120 and the amount of water we will need to supply from external sources to continue to provide the needs of our city. Because a lot of our water comes from the San Juan Chama Drinking Water Project and the Southern Colorado River, we need to talk about the snow and the predicted amount in the future to see if those supplies will continue to be produced at the level that they are now. You can see the graph shows that from 2041 to 2070, we are going to see a decrease of snow by 13% in Colorado and 42% in New Mexico. 
From 2070 to 2099, we are expecting about a 26% decrease in snow in Colorado and 66% decrease here in New Mexico. We also need to talk about temperatures and precipitation in the future. So the regional annual average temperatures are projected to rise by about two and a half to five and a half degrees by 2041 to 2070. Now this information that we've been looking at is from the EPA and models don't predict much change in annual precipitation, but it does predict large increases in evapotranspiration. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, hopefully you can decipher this and really determine what that means. But essentially, my understanding is that we are going to see about the same annual precipitation, but that water is not going to be as available to us. Now, this all leads into the projected flows for the Colorado and Rio Grande rivers. The flows are projected to decrease by about 33% during the years 2050 to 2099. The projected flows for the San Juan Chama project are expected to decrease by 25% by 2050 to 2099. And the allocations are projected to decrease by 15% using engineered storage to save that difference. 25% minus 15%, a 10% savings. That means that our allocation projected shortfalls are 72% by the 2050s and 62% by the year 2099. Let's talk about the future and what the state of New Mexico is doing. So in January 2020, Governor Grisham requested a $750,000 50-year water plan so that we can really dive into how the state can sustainably move forward together. The legislator denied this full request and instead allowed two additional hires, but that plan was scrapped due to COVID. However, in 2021, they did give $350,000 in one staffer increase. So that's not great news, but Luckily, the Rio Grande Basin study is a $1 million study by the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation and Middle Rio Grande Conservancy District. Essentially, they're doing a study and really looking at the future of our water in a little more in-depth detail. And hopefully, we'll be able to come up with a 50-year water plan. In summary, looking at the data and looking towards the future, we've done a great job in conserving our water and in implementing infrastructure to ensure that we have water for the next 50 or so years. Now the question is, what technologies, what studies, what is going to be done to ensure that our water future from 2075 and on is secure and in line with what we need to do to grow as a community and as a state. As always, I hope this video was helpful in just getting an idea or a sense of what the water situation is like here in Albuquerque. I'm going to be profiling different neighborhoods between Santa Fe and Albuquerque and things to really look forward to in the future. So stay tuned. We'll see you on the next video.